we were just driving down this road going home after food shopping and this pile was here and we just pulled over no idea and what do we walk away with hey guys welcome back to shiny bright doggo welcome back to another video we are really excited for this video i know you're tempted to skip through and see what we found in the trash but i encourage you guys to watch the entire video we found a lot of cool finds and we learned a lot too so we're gonna dive right in into two different thrift stores over the course of a week. Um, it's chock full of stuff. So we're really excited to show you guys. Let's go. Guys, I just found, I just found a primary set, almost a primary set. It's missing the blue uh, bowl. I haven't checked the prices yet. I have no hands and I'm trying to find Janine, but oh my goodness. It was just sitting on the shelf. I didn't have the time to film because I wanted to snatch it. There are a lot of people in the aisle. Um, but let's find Janine and see how much these are. <laughs> I don't know the prices. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh my god, my arm's gonna fall off. Um, I also found this really cute, like, pixie butterfly guy. Six dollars. Okay, <laughs> I care about it. What's the condition? I haven't looked. Um, oh no. Um, 25% off. Mm. Uh, it's lost its shine. The mm. yellow's not too bad. $10 though. Eesh. Not for me. It's not like it's sort of dishwasher yeah, ruined. Is. I got so excited. I was like, how did nobody see these? But um yeah. It's it's a no for me too. Yeah, I just got this bowl in pretty good, decent shape, so. But it's almost a full set, which was the exciting part. I know, that's the exciting part. This location actually has a good amount of Christmas left. Um, not sure if any of it is vintage really, but we'll take a look. Look guys, is there a little tiny Santa mug in this bag? He does have a candle in him. Somebody might've put that in there and it's $4. So not sure if it's worth picking up. So I'll show Janine. Yeah, he actually is 75% off, so it'd only be a dollar. Might be worth it to pick up. Janine said Janine thinks so. Pillsbury Doughboy, anyone? Hey Janine. Pillsbury? <laughs> Somebody dropped off their collection. There's a bunch of pieces. Is it you? It might be me. No, I have that one. I think I have that one. I don't have the soap dispenser. I try to limit my Pillsbury collection. Okay, I'll put this one back with the other one too. There's a spoon rest over here. Love this little snowman made in Hong Kong. Where does it say it? Made in Hong Kong, but he's pretty scuffed up. He's the only thing in the bag I'd want. And it's two dollars, so I'm probably not gonna get him. But he's so cute. He's got a little bottle of champagne. Did you see these? No. They are like new old stock glasses, snowman book and record. Oh they don't have God. a barcode, but they were two eighty nine, so I don't think they're that old. Um, it actually does have a date. Right there. Let me see what that is. Wow, these are actually nineteen seventy six and they look fantastic they look amazing and they're um 99 cents and they're actually the signs right over here guys the colors are orange and green i guess green is 75 percent off so these are only 25 cents each they're only 25 cents each <laughs> i think we have to I get them we weren't expecting to find anything no i know especially after christmas this is cute guys a little like pixie butterfly boy cherub with a little dog on this bench really cute at six dollars no discount but still might be worth picking up i've never seen one quite like this it's really cute so i just found these on this hook up there and there's an l and possibly a broken e but these are really cute little angels they are marked japan and there's no other maker's mark. They're 50% off though. They're 50% off. I, I think I'm gonna have to get them because they're so cute. You wanna show me something? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is like kind of new, like it has a barcode, but I think it has really, really nice packaging. Oh, that's fun. It's probably like 90s. Is there a barcode? Yeah. 
but it has really nice packaging. Yeah. I love that illustration right up there. And the colors. Yeah. I might get it. I it think is it's really, really nice. nice. Yeah, no, it is. I like it too. I also like this philosophy set for $10. Really not wow. a bad price. Yeah, that is a good price. It's a good price. It's a good price. It's a good price. 98 Yep. He's a Robin. Yeah. I was wondering if there's a Batman. How much is he? He's five ninety nine. Hmm. It's probably worth like twelve dollars, you know. Oh look it's a what was her name? BJ. Binky. Binky. BJ. <laughs> I actually don't know. Um baby baby bop. Baby Bob. BJ I think it was the boy. Yeah. Old um what is this thing called? Um Panther? Pink Panther? Let's see what this says. Pink Panther, Mighty Star, 1980. Huh. It's got original tag too. It's five dollars. Which honestly I'm surprised by. They've been marking up the plush so much lately. I would have thought ten on him. Wow, guys, look at these Cabbage Patch Kids sheets. How amazing. They're $10, no discount. But the colors are amazing on it. How cool is that? $10. Oh, it's actually 50% off. It's $5. Hmm. I'll look it up on eBay. After the holidays, it might be a little hard to move, but... I'm going to look it up and just so there is another set or pattern rather um, that goes on sale or sells well on eBay pretty regularly. It's not this pattern. This pattern can go for like 15 plus shipping. So for $10, it's really not worth it for me to flip it. If I were to pick up the sheet for $5, I'd probably want to make sure I'm making at least 15 to 20 back on it. So just not quite worth it for me, but really cool to see right at the thrift store. Older Minnie Mouse hat. Wow. Made in USA. It's pretty cool. Oh, look, guys, it's a Merry Christmas sign made in Thailand. These are from the 90s. They're usually always yellowed. I don't know why. Um, $8, which isn't a bad price at all. We recently picked one of these up, so we probably won't get this one, but really cool to see. Love it. So I actually had um, saw this, and I thought that they were all plastic, so I passed it up, but Janine spotted it and took a better look than I did. And she thinks some of them might be metal. Yeah, like this guy is metal. Mm -hmm. This guy is metal. They look like in great condition though. I don't know. I don't I know how to identify to them. Consult. And here's, a, here's a, a, a skating girl. Yeah, I don't know if they're reproductions of the, cause these like tin metal figures from I don't like the forties um, are worth a lot of money. But these just look a little new to me. I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't know. And also like that metallic paint, like I don't think that would be I don't know. But we could do a little bit of research. It's only three dollars and it's actually fifty percent off, so it might be worth picking up just to see. We're doing some research and it might be the real thing, Janine? Yeah. So it's definitely worth two ninety nine. 50% off a dollar. Oh, it's 50% off? I think so. I thought it was 25 But still, yeah, worth it for three to pick up and say, yeah. That is so How? cool. How freaking cute. Yeah, I spotted it and I was like, this would look so great in our future uh, sunroom. <laughs> but it does have a pretty significant crack right in the front. But yeah. that is so fun. Whoa. This is a Union Hardware Company. But they don't even have like are those the original wheels so these are strap on see? but they're metal wheels no yeah wow and then look at these ice skates oh wow how cool is that and they're like priced well i don't know if there's any value to them or not you but know? even if not if you wanted to just collect them like they're not like 15 dollars, you know <laughs> yeah they're like four dollars that's really cool just a little research i guess Wow, that's a very right. interesting, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, guys, do you see what I see? I think this is a vintage Bradford. Yeah, this is a vintage Christmas plastic ornament from the 50s or 60s. And it's a little flocked candle in here too, which I sort of do like, it's really dirty though, but 
the winner right here is this Bradford Choir Boy. Let's say four dollars, which is sort of eh, but it's actually seventy-five percent off. So a dollar is a win for sure. Oh my gosh, gotta show Janine. Look at that. These are cool glasses. I can't tell if they are vintage. They do have a marking right there. Drop a comment if you guys know who the maker is, but they look really, really great. So hard to tell that these are actually older. Nothing I recognize, but they're really pretty. This is a vintage tablecloth. Maybe it's a runner? No, I think it's a round tablecloth. I might open it up and see what it looks like. It's 75% off actually. Um, so what's that? It would be like uh, $3, I think. All right, I might grab that, see what it looks like open. Spotted some more nativities. These are made in Italy. Fon what are they called, Janine? Fontini? Fontana. Fontana. <laughs> Sounds like a pasta, I'm not sure. Um, it is, what, two fifty? dollars Maybe worth it, uh, maybe not. They're in pretty good condition. I'm um, definitely missing some pieces though, it so. It might be worth it for, I don't know if people buy just the individual ones to yeah. uh, complete their sets, you know? Yeah, I do think people might buy individual pieces, so I'll have to look it up and see. We determined the tablecloth to be from the 80s, so that got put back. And these I'm just not too sure about, so I'm gonna put them back as well. That is the cutest little mug. I have these in my hand for you. Thanks. It's a Fitz and Floyd. Oh, wow. Wait, what's the wow handmade hand painted in japan that might be from the 80s or wow it's only um 75 cents too that's so cute oh no oh no <laughs> right after christmas didn't you get enough for christmas no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> what you got there um this cool oven mitt that's an oven mitt they're so sold not single well, maybe I'll look at the oven mitts, but it, it is still new and it's from 1993. That's really cool though. Oh my gosh. And then what's really cool? Yeah. Beep beep. Beep beep. <laughs> I love that. That's so fun. It's in great condition. Like never yeah, used. It's a dollar and nine. I think blue's half off. No. I think it. I don't know actually. Maybe. We'll have to see. Still a good price. Did what? you see that and you weren't going to tell me about it? What? Oh, oh that's wrong. It's pretty big. Not a fan of it. Do you want these bowls? No, we'll put them back. Okay. That's too bad. It's huge. It is really big. Does it have a maker on it? It's also like, see, like nice ones I think would be like full wood. Yeah, no, I don't think. Like nicer ones, it would be like completely rounded yeah. and not flat on the back. So, all right, I just got excited. I do like this guy. But look, look at his arm. Do you think it's like glazed over, but it looks like it's broken? What? Where? That little nub? Oh. Um, do you think it was broken? Like a bow? His legs are there. Let me show you what Okay. I found that is I was like, is this did Laura did Laura donate this entire bag? It's got a Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh my gosh. And a little Santa. Okay. Like it's that's Christmas so me and Pillsbury Doughboy together. Santa and Pillsbury Doughboy is very me. He's cute. Does he have a cute face? I couldn't yeah, tell. Yeah, he's sort of cute. He's not the cutest. How funny. But $3. Dollars. Funny. Mm -hmm. That's very me. What else okay. did you find? I found this. This is from 1996. It's a Russell Stover candy container. Oh, cool. And it's Halloween. Yep. And you open it up. Let me see if I can. Okay. Uh, I was making noise before. Uh, maybe I just killed it. Well, that's cool though. It's got like a skeleton. Oh, that's got so that cool. classic. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Stop running away from me. Where are you going? I'm Run Run Rudolph. We were just driving down this road, going home after food shopping, and this pile was here. And we just pulled over. It's broken, but it, it would have had a. Um, oh, yeah, it is broken. It had a little top here. It's this nice seat. Okay, I'm recording, I'm recording. I am shaking. 
cheeky. We just stopped at the side of the road. Look, there's a there's a ceramic Christmas tree. I have to cut it here though because I need to go look at this chair. But oh my god, look at this. Okay, it's like what? It's today the second, the third, and we found a ceramic Christmas tree in the trash. I cannot believe it. And um, we also asked the homeowners were they're moving. They have a U-Haul, and yeah. we asked if we could go through the stuff and they were cool with it they were very friendly and they were like yeah, i take it all oh my goodness okay so like i want this christmas stuff yeah i want to look in here because there's like some old albums nutcracker and we always try to like not you know when you're going through the trash or dumpsters like to not make a mess um, it's just respectful for the homeowners and, you know, gives, gives garbage pickers a bad name when you just leave things a mess. So um, even if we don't show it on camera, we always go back and put things back, make sure everything's neat and, you know, not a mess, obviously. So this was the box that the ceramic Christmas tree is on. Oh my God, really loud. We're on a main highway or a main road. Um, this is the box that the ceramic Christmas tree was in. Um, a turkey here, but not super collectible. It's a nice umbrella. Might take that. And we're not full-time resellers. We don't do flea markets, so um, we would love to save this all out of the trash, but we're just gonna take what makes right or makes sense for us, oh, really. Parade. That's cute. I think I pulled that out and looked at it. First up, I found these two amazing vintage Christmas scores in a bag for only a dollar. This is a Bradford plastic ornament. He is from the 1950s, 1960s, and could probably resell for eight to twelve dollars. So this was a score. And at first, I thought this was flocked, and it's actually not. It's rubber. It's um, made in Taiwan. So from the 70s, early 80s. I thought it was flopped because it was so dirty, but I took a magic eraser to it and it cleaned up really nicely. I actually have a rubber Santa that this immediately reminded me of and I think they'll look really cute together. That candle really was like a completely different color and the magic eraser like made it look almost what I imagined it looked like brand new. Yeah, and I think I thought it was flopped because like the dirt was like texturized and mm. I, it looked fuzzy, it was so gross. <laughs> so it cleaned up really nicely. Yeah. So these two little figures would have been part of a Noel set. As you see, this one has the L. I'm thinking this one was the E. They were broken, I couldn't find the other two. They are made in Japan. And Laura, you said these are more common. Yeah, that's right. For some reason, this set seems to be more common and easier to find on eBay. Yeah, I never found these before. I thought they were too cute to leave behind, especially since this one was broken. I thought that these um, would make just a really nice like little uh, piece in displays, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of like prop them in and everything. Or crafting. Crafting as well, yeah. And they just have like a really pretty cute face. So I didn't capture these three on camera, but these three are so iconic. How could I not pick them up? Um, these two obviously being from Rudolph and this one from Frosty, but I believe these were from the 90s and from CVS They did like a run of like all of the like Rake and Bass and all mm -hmm. of those iconic Christmas specials um, I had this one growing up the the gun from the uh, Island Misfit Toys and then obviously what's his name Laura? Grumpy elf, I don't know oh. <laughs> but <laughs> that's, that's not Hermie. That's the head elf What's the head elf's name? Grumpy elf. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Maybe it is. He doesn't have drop a, a comment if you guys yeah, know. Yeah, drop a comment if you know. <laughs> and then obviously the magician from Frosty the Snowman with Frosty's iconic hat. Or maybe you feel like it's really his hat. That could be uh, some controversial. Contra controversial opinions, but I had to pick these up because they're just so cute. Wow, you hit the new old stock honey yeah, hole. Yeah, not one, not two, but six new old stock. Uh, vintage book and records of Frosty the Snowman for not a dollar but 25 cents each so amazing amazing I thought these were like from the 80s 90s I don't they're so brand new looking but there is a date there and I believe when we looked it up it's 1976 which is incredible um, these will probably be a part of a Christmas sale maybe in Christmas in July I'm gonna hold on to them for resale they're just so amazing it's like the cutest mug I've ever seen isn't it 
And you know, when I was looking at it, I thought it was probably like new, mm -hmm. maybe from like Target or something. Or, yep, or Home Goods. Yeah, and um, so I looked at it. First of all, 99 cents, great price. And look at that. It's a Fitz and Floyd mug made in Japan. Really nice. It has great color, it's in great condition. I'm a little like on the fence of whether to keep it or sell it. It does pull in like about 12 plus shipping mm -hmm. on eBay. Um, it's so cute and it'll look really good on the bar for the summer. Oh, that's right. I mean, uh, I love birds, so I might have to keep it. I love this packaging. This is a newer package for these light clips, as you could tell by the back. There is a barcode. So this is, you know, this is probably like the 90s or something. If I had to guess, it's still made in the USA, but it just has a very vintage retro look to it. It would still make a great display piece in your holiday decor. Um, I, I just, I love it. Pretty cool, huh? Beep beep. <laughs> I thought this was pretty cool. Um, different Looney Tunes oven mitt. It is so cool. Isn't that cool? I love it. I'm not even a Looney Tunes fan. You have Roadrunner inside of Wile E. Coyote's mouth, which is so fun. He's saying beep beep, his classic line. And your hand is making the mouth open and close, which is so cool, as well as the fact that it is pretty much brand new. Wow. It still has that plastic hang tag. Really cool and awesome. It was $1.99, I think it was 50% off. I think I could get about $20 on eBay for it. Wow. If you had another one, I think there was... Wasn't it Taz? Yes, I think there was a Taz one. If you had both of those, you could get 30 to $40. So definitely look out for stuff like this. You know, the collectible Looney Tunes items, the collectible um, and different like oven mitts, things like this, like you don't see this Super like, different. very often. So if you see something that's kind of different and interesting, give it a look on eBay. It could be worth something. I'm so excited about this find, guys. <laughs> now, it was $6, which for me felt a little pricey, but I know that this could probably fetch like $25 or so. Pixies are really in, really popular, and this is one that I've never seen before. There is a sold comp for one that sold for like $50 or so, so wow, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that when I picked it up out of, off the shelf. I just, you know, look how cute the details are. The little dog, there's no chippage. It's in great condition, and I think for the right buyer, I could get a good return. So we're always on the lookout for pumpkins. We're always on that pumpkin patrol, as you know it but we're always also looking out for just regular cool Halloween stuff. So I, when I found this, first of all, in December or January. We're really wait, lucky. Our what month is it? <laughs> it's January. <laughs> it's January. We're really lucky our thrift stores keep out some holiday all year round. Yeah, and this, I just, with the bright colors, it really got me interested. And I noticed that it is from 1996. On the back, you can see the year. And I think it was on sale, so it was very, very cheap. It's an old Russell Stover candy container. And when you open it up... So cool. It makes an iconic ghost scary sound from all of those cool 90s Halloween items. I think it's also a piggy bank, not quite sure, but I thought this was so cool and definitely a great shelf piece, maybe for a Halloween shelf that I might do this year. I love those bright 90s colors. Definitely gonna hold on to this one. I have Janine um, <laughs> <laughs> balancing yeah, these. Balancing well. act right now. When I first saw these in the bag, I was like, are these vintage? Are they the um, iron or lead figures? I wasn't too sure. And so we did a little bit of research and they are. They look like the real they, deal. They do look, I mean, I do have to say, maybe they are reproduction but all the stuff that we could find online lead us to believe that these are the real vintage lead Barkley ice skaters. Yeah, super cool and amazing. If any of you have any information about these, um, help us date them, or if they did make any reproductions, we would love to know because we've never really dove into that side of vintage Christmas, so it would be great to learn more about them, and they are so cool. And they're really collectible and valuable too. When we did some research, I think a little lot like this could probably go for like 35 to $40. That's really cool and incredible. I think I spent just a few dollars on the whole bag. 
guys, guys, we were heading home after thrifting. We went grocery shopping and there was a house and it had a big pile of trash outside, some furniture. We were, it looked like they were moving out. So we pulled over. We had to do what we had to do, which was obviously pull over. Of course. And the homeowners were outside and they were really nice. They were like, you know, take whatever you want. And I looked inside the cardboard box and this was inside of it. This is a beautiful, probably foot and a half or foot and one quarter. Uh, maybe two feet. It looks... With the base maybe, yeah. Yeah, two, and yeah. the star. Um, ceramic Christmas tree, probably from the 70s. I cannot believe the base was there. The base was there in really good condition. The only flaws it has is some chippage on some of the branches, but um, what a score. Really amazing. I cannot believe it. I was in shock. I was like, I know, no way. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was like, you know, what? It was probably like January 2nd or 3rd that we found this a few yeah. days ago. Here it is all lit up, guys. All the bulbs are here. Every single one of them, the base, and even the star on top. What a crazy find. So thank you guys for joining us in another thrifting adventure. We hope you had a lot of fun hanging out with us. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out, helps the channel out. And we are so excited to continue thrifting this year. Go to estate sales, go to yard sales, flea markets. If you're into that, make sure to subscribe as well. But until next time, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.